Okay, this is part two of my Samsung Chromebook, uh, I'll call it a review, but uh, this is going to be more like an attempt to install Linux, a flavor of Linux, on this Samsung Google Chromebook. Um, so I found some instructions online, and this is going to be my attempt to see how how well it works. So it says I have to I have to go into developer mode, and you do that by hitting Escape plus Refresh, and then tap the power button while in the Chrome OS. So I'm going to hit Escape and Refresh, these two top buttons up here, and then tap the power button, which is on the right-hand side up here. Now it says the Google Chrome OS is missing or damaged. Please insert. Now I believe it says to leave this part alone. Oh no, actually it says at the recovery screen. Now you press Control D. So Control D. So here's the control. Here's D. There. Now it's changed to. Turn, to turn OS verification off, press enter. So you want to turn OS verification off. And now you let it reboot. So what's going to happen is it's going to clear the local data and then it's going to restart. So if you're planning on doing this, uh, make sure you back up all your data if you do have any data on the, on the actual local machine, or actually on the device itself. Now according to the top right hand corner, it says it's going to take about 10 minutes. So I'll come back in 10 minutes. Okay, it's almost done. We've got about 30 seconds left. It's rebooting again. Just let it reboot and cycle through. It restarts the Chrome. I think basically what it did was uh, put it in developer mode and restore your system. Go through and just go through the setup again. Connecting to the network. Next, it's asking us to open. We need to download a piece of software called Crouton.
and I'll post these in the link in the description below. So it's downloading it and it puts it in the download folder. Now it says to open a cross terminal with control alt and T. So we'll go control alt T. It opens a terminal window. Zoom in here. You type shell which takes you to, I believe, a full Linux terminal. Next, there's some command lines to enter in here, and I'll, um, I'll post these in the descriptions below. And I'll also post the link to some of the websites I found to figure out how to, how to to do this, at least the instructions I'm following. So this will tell me, when I type in this command line, it tells me the distributions, the distribution. Oops, a little typo there. Space right here. It tells me the distributions of Linux that are supported to install on the Chromebook. Um, anything with an asterisk are unsupported but everything else is. And as you can see, I'm gonna do the Ubuntu release and Trusty is the most recent. I'm gonna install that. So there's a command line to, to install that. And then you're also going to install the interface. So you have Trusty, which is the build of Linux. So it's a Ubuntu release, it's the most recent. But then you're going to also install the desktop interface, which is basically kind of the Windows looking type of interface that it's going to run on top of the Linux build. And I think the most, uh, well, there's a command line that lists what that those are as well. So let's just type that in just to check. And I believe to check, it's this command line here. So there's various builds of the interface. And there's a command line that you're gonna type all of this into and I'll, I'll list it uh, in the description below as well. Unity, I believe, is the most recent one for um, Ubuntu. I'm going to use LXDE because LXDE is a very light, it's not really super uh, processor intensive, I guess you could say. It's certainly not as big, it's only 200 megs, whereas Unity is 700 megabytes. So that might need a little bit more of a uh, powerful uh, desktop or uh, laptop. So we'll go with the LXDE build. And you, there's, uh, there's all kinds of other ones that you can scroll through. There's even an XBMC build, or um, I guess it would be the interface. So the command line I am going to use is I'm going to install Trendy. And then the LXDE interface.
Oh, sorry, not trendy, it's trusty. My mistake. So now that we have this typo fixed, we should be good. There, now it's going through. And what this will allow you to do is it will install things it will install Linux in tandem with the Chrome OS, so it doesn't blow away your Chrome OS. It uh, it installs it, and you can you can run um, either one. So I have a feeling this is going to take a while. So I'm going to come back when it's almost finished. I just wanted to mention that uh, it is a given that you do need to be hooked up to the internet in order to install this because after running, when you run these command lines, it does go and download all of these packages and then uncompress them and install. So it, it does it all automatically for you. Okay, it's done installing, downloading the package, and then installing the the packages. It took about 15 minutes. Now it's asking me to enter a username and a password. So to start it, you're going to type in right here, sudo start lxd from uh, the command prompt, the command window in Chrome. So we're going to do that, sudo start lxd. There we go. Now we have a full flavored version of Ubuntu installed on our Google Chromebook. The whole thing took about half an hour. So um, it was the process was relatively painless. The instructions I found online were quite good. So if I was able to do it, I'm sure um, anyone out there who wants to try to do it will be able to do it. So anyone out there who wants to give this a try, um, I had success with it. Hopefully you'll have success with it. There's all kinds of guides online. Um, this is what I did and it really worked for me. Um, so hopefully this helps you out and you enjoy the video. Uh, and good luck if you're going to try this. Thanks for watching.